Well, welcome back to Mario RPG. Today, well, before we get started, I need to go over a couple things. So, I got a comment, uh, a very helpful comment, uh, and I apologize in, in advance. I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this name. I'm very sorry. Uh, from Shristi Yadav, uh, who told me a little bit more about the Beta ring, as well as uh, the amulet, which is why I have Toadstool and Bowser out here. Now, I had done a little bit of digging into the Beta ring, and I'll get back to that, but uh, they made a very good point about the fact that the amulet is basically made for Bowser. So, what the amulet does is it increases all of your stats and then decreases your speed slightly. Now, Bowser doesn't have much speed to begin with. He's not hes not a very fast boy. Uh, the other thing the amulet does, however, is also it decreases the elemental damage you take. Now, as you can see, Bowser's magic defense, not exactly his best stat. He's not very a magic person. So when you combine the fact that it, you know, basically ha it decreases the amount of elemental damage you take as well as boosting all of your stats aside from speed which it slightly decreases and he's not a fast person anyway th that item is basically made for Bowser so we're gonna definitely go ahead and throw that onto Bowser right the heck now and then the B-Tub ring is a very interesting item it is mainly used for in conjunction with another item, and I'll, I'll wrap back around to that. But what it also, but it does also affect your stats slightly. So it, when you equip it, it won't say that it affects anything. However, from what I've seen in looking into it, it basically works a lot the same way the amulet does, where it decreases the elemental damage you take. It also says it decreases magic, like, attack. I'm not entirely certain if that means it decreases, like, the amount of magic attack you deal, or the amount you take. I'm actually not completely clear on that, but Peach isn't a magic attacker, she's a healer, so... I don't think it's that big of a deal. Peach is also the only person that can equip the B-Tub ring, so, might as well. Um, there are other equipment that's probably better for her, but the Beta Ring does also have the added benefit of you can use it in conjunction with the Mystery Egg. The Mystery Egg is otherwise a completely useless item. It doesn't do anything. But, when used by the holder of the B-Tub ring ten times, it will evolve into a new item. And then when you use that item, I believe it's 48 times, and I'm not actually certain if it needs to be used in conjunction with the person holding the B-Tub ring or not. Uh, it will evolve again into an even better item that actually does even better things. So, eh, on the one hand, I kind of didn't want to go through all of the usage of that item, but on the other hand, we're definitely going to get into more than 58 battles, so might as well. I did also look into uh, the Yoshi stuff a bit more. There is a lot more to do in Yoster Isle. I don't think I'm going to do all of it. But for a very, very quick overview as to what more you can do in Yoster Isle, this little dude, when you after you have fed him a cumulative 30 cookies, he will jump out and then you will have a very fat Yoshi. And then that very fat Yoshi, when you eat him a lump of cookies, like if you feed him say five cookies, he will get you a particular item. If you feed him 10 cookies at once instead, he'll get you a different item, and it goes on and on. Uh, the best item that you can get requires feeding him 21, to 21 cookies at a single time, which is pretty much your whole inventory. Uh, 
There is a cookie bank, but I'm not really sure if you can take cookies out of the bank and give them directly to him, or if you have to put them in your inventory first. I don't know. If I do anything with this, it will be mostly off screen. And I will come back to it and show you guys the results. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, but yeah, there, there's a lot to do on Yoaster Isle. Anywho, let's actually get on with what we were trying to do in this game. So we got the item, we were doing- oh that's right, we were doing stuff at Land's End. I had fallen off of Land's End and gotten stuck. Uh, well, I hadn't gotten stuck so much as I had managed to go down a different path. Uh, okay, so let's switch my party back around. You need 24, 78, 48. Uh, okay, I'll switch Gino in, and I'll keep Toadstool for a while. So yeah, I do plan on using that mystery egg. I'm just gonna hatch it. Might as well. I've been kind of trying to do as much as I can. So, I do really want to get this item up here. No? Okay. I know it's entirely possible to do this, I'm just really bad at it. It requires very specific timing. Oh, that was closer, but still not quite. Okay, so let's just... Oh. Also, uh, as evidenced by the fact that that comment that I mentioned earlier, and that future me has hopefully put on screen while I was talking about it, uh, came out on, I think, episode, like, 12? Uh, a little bit of a look into the, uh background here. Yep, just gotta give it your love. Enough times until it finally hatches. Uh, a little, uh, little behind the scenes for you as to how long it's been since I've recorded for this, and also, uh, how far in advance I record some of these. So I have not recorded anything since the last session that I... Well, obviously, I haven't recorded anything since the last... It's, it's been a couple weeks. It's been a couple weeks since I recorded anything. That's what I'm getting at here. Okay. So, heal up. And these guys are just gonna keep fighting me. Whatever. Take you out real easy. You tend to give attack ups, which is cool. I will keep giving the mystery egg some love. This guy is going to be mean, but that's okay, because Gino does the punchies. Cool. Got another pick-me-up, and there's Bowser's level. Sweet. Huh. Not a bad level. Uh, again, he's just not a magic person, so I don't know if I care that much about his MP going up. I mean, we did learn that he does actually... his. His skills, his spells, mind you, whatever, do actually do damage, so they are good. I whatever, fine. It's a plus three. You don't argue with a plus three on this game. Oh, so close. I know you can do this. I feel like I'm just keep getting just barely off. I don't imagine there's, like, a way to push this, or... No, there doesn't seem to be anything. Huh. Because I feel like this is what I always ran into as a kid as well, where I would feel like I kept getting it, and then I would just barely not make it. Or, you know, I'll just keep failing entirely. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. Future me, look up what's in that box and see if I need to come back and get it, because I'm going I've spent too much time in this world already. I 
this world in this stage already. Everyone's already seen this. Let's just keep moving. Ow. I didn't appreciate the, the carny kiss. It's a lot of pain. Yeah. Alyssa isn't... Alyssa is here working from home today, so you might hear her clicking and clacking in the background every now and then. And you're going to carny kiss her again immediately to KO her. Thanks for that. I always appreciate everyone automatically targeting Toadstool and killing her. It's the thing I love most. Alright, back to using the mystery egg. I've not yet looked up to see what the lucky jewel does. I'm gonna have to look that up later and figure that out for you guys. Oh, these guys do give really good experience, though. Hey, that's that's some pretty hefty experience. Oh, cool. Learn Geno Blast. Yeah, we'll keep powering up your MP. Or your magic attack, I should say. Anyway, let's just move forward from here. Blast you. Continue to give my love to this egg. Wow, they really like Peach. Wow, they really like to kill Peach. Okay, yeah, I think that B-Tub ring like, has severely negatively affected her, uh, in some way, because she is taking way more damage than anyone else. Uh, I would like to get to my menu. Thank you. It's been a while since I played this game, as I've mentioned, so, uh, was a little bit struggle busting there. Okay. Uh, oh, really? I was just trying to double check if there's anything down here, but I think I did that before and I didn't see anything, so. Fused monster. Didn't hit himself, darn. I think we might get the mystery egg to uh, evolve the first time just in this episode. Really? Didn't die? All right, well, take out this guy. I'm messing up the timing on that, but whatever. It'll be fine. There's Peach. Cool. Level 14 is a special level, might as well. I need to get back over here. And jump across. There we go. That's what we needed to do. I don't know if I actually need to go up that. I don't think I do. I think that was just for extra stuff that I already did. Uh, actually, yeah, it looks like I do need to go across that in order to get out of here. Okay, I wasn't sure if I needed to go across that to get out of here or not, but I can go do that. Boop. We'll just wait for you to pollinate. There you go. There we go. Okay. I don't care about your course. I don't have the money for it anyway. If you don't do anything with their course, then you can just hold up left and jump through this which makes things real easy, and now we're in new stuff. Cool. So, let's save. And do I want to change up the team at all? In generally speaking, probably. Alright, 275, 300, 68, 250. Oh, okay, you guys are still... You guys still need the most. I'm actually not sure if these guys do level up slower. They don't seem to be lo leveling up any slower. It doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. Screw it! 
we're gonna bring in Bowser and Mallow. I prefer them anyway. Peach is really good for healing, but uh... Been busy traveling around, where are you headed? Monstro Town? Yep. Okay, listen up. Look for a whirl where the ant pops out and proceed after it. Keep following it and you'll find your way underground. Once you're there, Monster Town's just around the corner. Okay, cool. So yeah, as he mentioned, in order to get to Monstro Town, you need to go through one of these that actually has a uh, ant popping up like that. Uh, otherwise, they just kind of warp you around. Oh, I didn't want to go back in. I was trying to shoot the gap between them, but... Oh, that cloud there is also an enemy you can fight. I'm pretty sure it's kind of a rarish spawn, but I'm not 100% on that. These guys are enemies we can fight as well, if we chose to. Okay. Let's just go around here. Kind of wanted to see if that cloud was back, but... Oh well. Yeah, I remember this place being difficult because these guys can hurt a lot. Oh, let's check out Snowy. Haven't used that yet. Rotate the control pad. Oh, well, this is gonna suck. Rotating the control pad is not great. Oh, well, then you know what? That did pretty good. It's a powerful move. It's also very costly. So, I would kind of hope that it's powerful. And then you want to make sure you actually get in the one that uh, you popped out of. Okay. Okay, so yeah, if you have Snowy and you don't botch it, then you can just use that. But I'm curious to see what Thunderbolt will do. Much less. Okay, fair enough. Are you all gonna vigor up after I hit you with magic? Yeah, you are. Oh boy, okay. Fair enough. Well, let's take out this guy. Oh, okay, you guys are speeding up. Probably just that vigor up. I really wish I could have, you know, blocked. Okay. Well, let's use Pick Me Up. I really need to get my timing back down. It doesn't even hurt Bowser, though. I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with people not taking damage. and I went through the wrong one, because it was running from me. Thanks, game. Oh, what? Secret secrets. Apparently nothing. Alright, fair enough. I kind of want to fight that cloud, see if I can get it to spawn. So I've definitely... You can definitely interact with it. Okay. Okay, you don't necessarily end up fighting them. And this time, let's actually just use Snowy and not deal with these guys. Oh, did even better that time. Cool. That, yeah, anytime you have to rotate a control pad, it's a little, a little wonky, but it's a strong move. Okay, yeah. And so it looks like this one's gonna... Looks like 15's gonna be an attack level, which I'm fine with. I like more attack. Mallow, which also reaches level 15. Cool. That's actually a really good attack level for him. Dang, okay. Uh, 
I have not gotten to the underground yet. But where do you go? Oh. Okay. Oh, hello. Isn't this incredible? It really does look like the edge of the world, doesn't it? Too spooky for me, though. I'm heading back to Monstro Town. See ya. Interesting. Hi. Jump back here? Not really. So we can climb this, kind of. Alright, so... Oh, now they're running from me. Oh, you Trixie. Trixie, Trixie. Oh, and I immediately went back in. Darn, okay. Aha! Okay. Back here. Ha! Alright. Now I just gotta get back in that thing. They were really trying to get away from me. Alright. And we'll just take them out mellow, because I don't want to deal with them. Sweet, I'm getting better at it every time. Cool. Is it still going to run from me? It will. That's okay. Because now I'm in the underground. So let's save. We are almost to Monstro Town. I think. Yeah! We get a star. Kill these guys all off. Kill you guys all off. Oh, so close. Yeah, there's a. This area is really big, and there's a lot you can do with a star here, but. Kind of botched it. That's okay. Alright, well, I can take out the Gekets with one shot, really. Uh, the rest of them, I could use a Snowy on these guys, but... I remember from experience that the... Oh, actually, the Chewies go down pretty easy, too. Okay, fair enough. So these guys all go down pretty easy. It might have actually been worth it to try a Thunderbolt, but I don't worry too much about it. There we go. Yeah, I get the feeling the best way to deal with these ones are just attack them all one by one until they die. Okay. You guys just blocking back here. <laughs> Not really much to block, mind you. Kind of want to see... No, can't really sneak over there. Okay, that's fine, then. Fuse monster. He's gonna punch himself. I don't really want to deal with the Spinthra or the other dude. Because they do poison and break the screen. We're just gonna snowy these guys, because I don't want to deal with them. Oh, that's right, I do need Peach in here in order to use that B-Tub ring, which was kind of the thing we were doing. Huh. Okay, yeah, I'll... I've burned through most of my MP anyway, I'll switch Mallow out for Peach. <laughs> ha! Blocked ya. Oh, got a Bracer. Nice, I'm pretty sure that is a battle item that increases defense. Learn Crusher. Okay, cool. This is gonna be an attack level. Okay, so let us... Well, might as well take a look at Crusher. A Rock Slide. Uses 12 flower points, has 60 magic power, hit Y prior to contact. All right, fair enough. This can poison foes and this can scare foes. I know Terrorize can do damage. I don't know about Poison Gas, but I'm guessing it also can do damage. Bowser's stuff uses a lot of FP, but it can damage, and this one seems to be just an attack. Not really much of a status, but that's okay. But then, actually, that has higher magic power than Snowy, which is interesting. 
Huh. Weird. Okay, cool. Well, whatever. Uh, let us switch... Mallow out for Toadstool. Yeah, these guys are gonna go up a level here. Pretty soon. But I won't worry about it right now. Oh, hi. Aha! This is what I was thinking of. So you can buy a star from this lady. Uh, you can only buy it from her... Or you can only buy the star from this shopkeep once. But I'm pretty sure these enemies will respawn every time you come in here. So if you have the coins... Oh, and welcome to Bellum Temple. Oh boy. Hi. Who... Can I talk to you? Can I... Can I talk to you? Hello. For 100 coins, this shortcut will take you back to the surface. No thanks. What is going on? Okay, thank you. Let me just go, please. Okay. So what do you... Do you want your fortune told? It'll cost 50 coins. No thanks. I would like a save point, is what I would like. Okay, so Bellum Temple is interesting. Or I guess Bellum -y Temple, whatever. It's an interesting place. I would kind of like a save point. In fact, I'm very tempted to just run back and save real quick and come back here in a moment because uh, I think this place alone is probably going to be enough for its own episode. Didn't actually want to fight this guy, but whatever. So I think I am actually just going to run back and save real quick. And then we will... I know this episode's going to be a little bit shorter than the rest of them, but frankly, I should probably... St I feel like the episodes lately have been getting a little long as is. Uh, originally, it was always planned to be but like between 20 to 30 minutes, closer to the 20 end, and lately it's been pretty much just 30 minutes or more. So I, I'm going to try and work things back to like actually being around 20 minutes up to 30, rather than 30 being the main amount. Let's jump back out of here. Oh. Oh, if you have a star, they separate to try and avoid you. Ah, that's cute. Okay, cool. Oh, and then to get back up here, you can use the top of the box as a platform. That's cute, too. I didn't ever really recognize that. Anyway, uh, I know we mostly only covered Land's End, but we also went over a couple of things that I wanted to go over, so... We're getting back into the swing of it. Anyway, I will see you guys in our next episode of Mario RPG, where we take on Bellamy Temple. So I'll see you guys then.